heavy part, um, and it basically forces it onto the grid. And the degree to which it forces it onto the grid is chosen by, I just hit F8 to bring up this tool window, by this amount number, for example, um, when you're using this menu. And then the shape of the grid, so let's go here, right? So right now we're seeing sixteenths. This is what the grid is. There are sixteenth notes. That's what these stand for. Or, you know, half notes, quarter notes. Based on the rhythm that you're playing, that's going to affect what type of quantization factor you're going to use. If they're just long, slow keys, then it's best to use a bigger measure on your grid. If they're fast parts, hi-hats, for example, then you're probably going to be wanting to be around eighths or sixteenths. If it's trap, you might occasionally need to be using triplets. Um, but the, it's important to pick the right grid. And once you have found the right grid, instead of going over here and selecting the notes and hitting apply through this menu, they're actually, you saw how they all move there. There actually is the ability to do it. Just you've selected it and now to quantize by clicking this button down here um, without having to open a menu. And this can save a lot of time if you want to quantize. Um, on top of that, you can actually choose to click this button right on top to say Q record, which will record quantization, will basically force quantizing onto your recording as you record. So you don't get any of the human natural touch or mistakes. It's gonna feel much more rigid. Um, and for certain genres, that is absolutely a good call. Um, there's no need to worry about it because you want it to be mechanical or it's very grid-like or your changes are so slow that there's not really any rhythm in it. Um, now, I generally prefer to leave quantize record off because you can also totally ruin a groove and a feel of a song by having the wrong quantization on. Uh, whether you've selected the wrong grid or there's just a certain part, a certain human element, some swing that you want baked in. So I tend to not have cue record on unless it's really a robotic genre, EDM or something like that. Occasionally some classical baroque -y type stuff. Um, and if I know I want it to be straight on the grid, I'll select the section and then hit quantize. But always listen back immediately after quantizing because notes sometimes shift from one, like let's say this note here is right in the middle. Well, it might shift here. I don't have snap on, but um, it could snip shift here or here. Um, and maybe that's not where it was supposed to be in either spot. Right, um, so if you don't like, maybe it's actually perfectly in time in a 16th note grid, but if you've got the wrong grid, then it's gonna shift it forward or backwards and the rhythm's gonna be off. So always listen back after you quantize. Um, the other thing is I don't believe, so going back to this menu, this lets you do like very little minor quantization, like just 10% to slightly clean things up. Um, so that was just a little bit of a move there, but I don't think quantize record actually, maybe it does apply that effect. I don't, I guess it does sync to both of it. So, um, the amount you have selected here will also be baked into what happens when you hit quantize. Um, and you can see, because I have it on quarter notes, it just totally messed everything up. Uh, if I were to go to 164th notes and quantize, it moves it a little bit. So you can dial in your flavor through, the, through hitting F8 and using the tool menu, and then going here, and you'll just have a quick access to it throughout. So I hope this was useful. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can get more reason tips. Reason 10.2 is just around the corner, and I'll be sure to offer plenty of coverage for that. Take care, and have a good one.